The bottom line is this. <clears throat> First of all, let's just talk about the informed consent. As far as consent is concerned for the actual procedure, it involves the same risks and complications that all the other injections do and anything that you've already had done. All the epidural steroid injections, all the spinal cord stimulator trial, what have you. Bottom line is this, is that you need to understand that, you know I mean, infection, bleeding, failure to relieve pain, worsening of pain, um, nerve damage, paralysis, or even death are considerations. Although they're not very likely, they are still considerations nonetheless. Um, the alternative to the procedure is to just not have anything done, to go ahead and control it with medications or with injections as you've tried in the past. And that's kind of it, you know? Um, any questions or concerns about the actual procedure, about the consent? No. Okay, good. So, um, that's not a problem. Then the other thing is, let me just explain to you kind of what's going to be involved over here as far as the actual implant is concerned this time around. Um, as far as the implant is concerned, what we're going to do is we're going to make those two incisions, one midline incision and one off to the side, and that incision to the side is just going to put the pocket over there. Let me ask you something. What side, what hand are you, left or right? Right-handed. Right-handed? Okay. So we're going to probably go ahead and put it on the right side. Um, let me go and ask you this. So as far as the right side is concerned, can you reach around over here to your back? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Okay, it's not a problem. You don't have any arthritis or any kind of problems over there with your shoulder to reach around, right? Yeah. Okay, good. So um, the bottom line is this, is that we just want to make sure that you can reach the battery. And that's the key thing. And that's what we're going to make sure of. Um, you're going to go ahead and notice after this procedure, you're going to go home with what's called an on-cue pain ball, okay? The pain on-cue pain ball. It's a big ball of local anesthetic that's going to be, you know, you wear on like a little bit of a fanny pack, just kind of sitting outside your body. But it has two little straws that go from the pain ball and actually hook up to your back to go and kind of reduce some of the pain over there in the post-operative period. So <clears throat> that ball, again, just local anesthetic, and that ball of local anesthetic is going to be getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller over the next three days. It consumes by itself. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to, no, no, no. You don't do anything. You don't do anything with it, except for obviously the ball getting smaller and smaller. Um, the bottom line is, is that that kind of help, helps reduce the pain, and that's what we're going to be using it for. Um, in addition to that, <clears throat> you have your pain medications, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Because you want, you'd obviously have something for post-operative pain. Most patients, I'd say 80 to 90 percent of patients, actually are 80 to 90 percent better by their first post-operative visit, which is going to be at nine days. Okay? As far as hygiene and what you can do and what you can't do, no showering or bathing for three days um, during, while that pain ball is going down. When that pain ball completely empties, when it's completely empty, which is going to be about three days, I want you to take all the dressing off your back, everything off your back, and after that point, you can shower. Yeah. No showering before then, okay? So after three days, you can shower, and then um, and when you take off the dressing, the pain ball is going to come with it, you throw it all the way into the trash can, okay? You take a shower, wash up the area, after you wash up the area, I want your wife to go ahead and just use some alcohol and kind of dab alcohol along the two wounds, okay? Yeah, on it even, it's not a problem, on it is perfectly fine, okay? And that's it? And then, and, and then cover it up with something, you know, I mean, some gauze or something like that. Yeah, can, we, can I use a, a alcohol swab? You sure can. Yeah. That's perfectly fine. I just want something to go and clean the area after he takes a shower. Okay? And then I'll see you back over there to take out the staples in a few days. Fine. Okay? That's it? Yeah. Any questions? Not at all. No?